All right, folks, welcome to How to Fix Your Game Boy. Have my old Game Boy here. It's in really good shape. There's no real scratches or marks on this thing. Screen looks excellent. It's not dirty or anything like that, but when you turn it on, it apparently seems like Game Boys of this era have lines in the screen like that. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that today and hopefully get this thing working in tip-top shape. First things first, I'll need soldering iron, and then a very special screwdriver. It's a Y screwdriver, which I don't think you can really see it in there, but it's not quite a Phillips head. And then we've got to take these screws out in order to do this properly. all six screws out I've got this cable here that I have to remove because what I'm trying to do is get to this part of the screen in order to do that I need to unscrew these so if I remove this cable that might help or I could just set it up like this and then remove the screws as so I'll try this so I don't have to unplug it That is going to require a Phillips screwdriver instead of that Y screwdriver. I'm not sure why they used two different screws on this, but they did. Here's there's these little pins here that you have to push in in order to get the circuit board up. If not, you're just kind of pulling on it and not going anywhere. So I'm gonna push those pins in. Hopefully do this without having the other one go back. All right, so I've wiggled this loose. It was a little challenging, but now I've separated it from the case. And before I flip it over, I'm gonna to try to put something in between this just so it doesn't jam on itself. But I also need to put the batteries back in because I'm gonna need the batteries in order to test to see how I'm doing. And I'll just put this on because I might as well. I like the little speaker here, tiny thing. It's pretty awesome. This rubber piece that goes right across here that does have to be removed. So I'm gonna take just a little razor blade here. Try to pry that up without damaging anything. So the next thing I'm going to turn it back on, what I've discovered is it will not turn on with the game in. So I had to take the game off and then you can see where the Nintendo would be just right down the center. And you see that these lines are still out and it actually looks a little worse now. So what I'm going to do is take this soldering iron and then heat up this strip and try to just reflow the solder with it on. And this should, if done long enough, this should make the screen come back. It took a little bit. It was almost like I had to get worse before it got better. But that whole side is just about good. As you can see, it's kind of fluxing in and out. And I just go back over it a little bit again. That seems to do it. This looks pretty good. So at this point, we'll put the Game Boy back together, put the game in, see what happens. And 
And look at that. Looks pretty great. And there you have it. Fixing your Game Boy.